Hello and welcome to the weekly Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First, a look at the highlights. Professor Amitabh Mathu delivers a special lecture. Distance Education holds seminar on Urdu literature. DLL holds meet the eminent program. And we also have a brief profile of Craft Development Institute. Now the details with your host Nisha Zargar. Dear viewers, before we begin the program, we wish to inform you that a section officer and ex-president Kashmir University Ministerial Staff Association, Mr. Gulam Jila Niwani, passed away on Tuesday. The 54-year-old Wani was ailing for some time. In this connection, condolence meeting was held near the lawns of administration building in which faculty and non-teaching staff of the university participated. Paying tributes to the departed soul, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Khurshid Iqbal Andrabi, highlighted Wani's personality and said the deceased was a noble person. <laughs> کلام مختلف یہ اللہ تعالی کریم تمن تمن فرق استی مت فرق تو رب الکریم تھے ان کی دم اللہ واہی کی نن صبر جمیل عطا Special Secretary to the VC, Dr. M. S. Sumli said the deceased had rich administrative qualities for which he would be always remembered یہ سو بولا ہو یہ تو شیئر تھا سو خلی نہیں ہو ظاہری طور باسا یہ نے کن ساتھ اس کے بعد اس کاندھوں یہ کیا ہونا یہ ساتھ سو بندس پر یہ ہے کنگے کرنس پر یہ ہے تلے اس کا سامن بھوکتا ہے اس Others who spoke on the occasion included Vice President Kashmir University Teachers Association, Professor Manzoor, President Kumsa, Mr. Rashiduddin Mir, Vice President Kumsa, Mr. Farooq Ahmed Butt, and Joint Registrar, Mr. Altaf Ahmed Butt. Lakhun Sifat, Kota Kaliti, Kota Karba Bayan, Tund Tadabur. ब्रो اس کی پٹ کرو مائل یہ پنے اتھارٹی یہ کی پٹ مننا نا ووک اس یہ پنے ڈیمانڈ دی میٹنگ اینڈڈ وتھ پریئرز فار دی ڈیپارٹڈ سول اللهم انی اسالک بان لک خم لا الہ الا انت المنان بدی السماوات والارض یا ذا الجلال والاکرام noted academic and former vice chancellor of Jammu University professor Amitabh Mathu delivered a special talk titled My Kashmir the UNESCO Mandanjit Singh Institute of Kashmir Studies organized this talk speaking on the occasion professor Mathu said that bureaucracy played an important role in sustaining Indian democracy the imperial civil service was created as a way of furthering british imperial interests why would you think that such a bureaucracy would somehow be an instrument of saving democracy. It's the most reactionary element. It's comprador. Comprador is a Marxist term where you owe your allegiance to a foreign power. And Nehru and Patel and Gandhi or whoever was making decisions did not demolish the ICS. Because if you look at the examples of other countries in Africa and Asia which did not have a bureaucracy, newly elected leaders fresh from the zeal of independence and from colonial rule, could often take reckless, adventurous decisions, populist decisions. We'll ban this or we'll open up this. A, a reactionary conservative bureaucracy acts like a bulwark against populist actions, against adventurism of that kind. So democracy, I mean, counterintuitively, uh, the bureaucracy might have played a role in ensuring the sustainability of a democracy and prevented newly elected leaders with little experience in administration from taking reckless actions. He opined that the state of India accommodated debate and dissent because it has a comprehensive constitution. If you don't believe in these kind of individual people who can transform 
the destinies of people, then they say because you had a strong constitution. You had the most comprehensive constitution written, which provided checks and balances, which provided for the independence of the judiciary, but also checks and balances on which to ensure that you couldn't undermine democracy. You could, recognizing, of course, that despite those checks and balances, you still had Indira Gandhi impose the emergency in 75, but you had a hugely laid out plan for, the demo for a democratic state. The third explanation given is the explanation of affirmative action, which meant that you, even the most marginal communities, groups, individuals, knew that through the policy of reservation, there was a chance to be upwardly mobile. So popular discontent at the grassroots level could never acquire the intensity that it did in many other states where you wanted the republic or the state to collapse, or you wanted to actually use any means at your disposal to subvert the state. Professor Mathu, who was Chief Executive Officer and Founder, Director of the Australia India Institute, also took questions from students, scholars and faculty members. Earlier in his welcome speech, Director UMIKS, Professor Gul Muhammad Wani, expressed his opinions on economic and social democracy. The need for democratizing the democracy in India. Now, democratizing the democracy in India is that why some people in India and most of these people live in the peripheral parts, belong to marginalized sections of society, have to be unreasonable to make the Indian state to listen uh, to their demands, to their aspirations. This was a danger that was sounded in 1949 by Ambedkar in the Constituent Assembly that political democracy okay, but once we decided that each person will have one vote, then naturally economic and social democracy is something that India cannot uh, push under the carpet. We have to be very alert to the some of the things that are happening very seriously as far as the electoral and political landscape of India is concerned. <laughs>
سوچ کر تو ذرا اندازہ لگائیے کہ وہ ادب کس قسم کا ادب ہوگا نوٹڈ ناولسٹ مسٹر بشیر کھٹلانی آرگیوڈ دیر اے ناولسٹ ٹرانسفرس ایونٹس ان ٹو یونیورسل ٹروتھ افسانے کو کسی خاص سانچے میں نہیں رکھا جا سکتا افسانہ رنگ بدلتا رہتا ہے افسانہ نگار مورس ہوتا ہے وہ جو دیکھتا ہے وہ لکھتا ہے وہ اپنے دور کو لکھتا ہے وہ ایک تاریخ مرتب کرتا ہے ترقی پسند تحریک کو دیکھ لیجئے وہ دور تھا جب مزدور غریب مفلسی کا شکار تھے بے توجہی کا شکار تھے لاقانونیت کا شکار تھے اس وقت منشی پریم چند نے اظہار کا راستہ اختیار کیا اور ان کا دکھ درد اپنے الفاظ میں بیان کیا ناولسٹ ڈاکٹر ترنم ریا سیڈ دیٹ شی از ڈس میڈ دا وے اردو لینگویج ہیز بیکم اے وکٹم آف پرسنل رائولریز ان دس سب کانٹیننٹ سب سے پہلے تو اردو اس طرح رفتہ رفتہ ختم ہو رہی ہے اور ایسی حالت میں ہماری نظریں صرف کشمیر کی طرف جاتی ہیں یا بہار کی طرف جاتی ہیں جہاں یہ سرکاری زبان کے طور پر ابھی بھی مانی جاتی ہے پہچانی جاتی ہے اور سمجھی جاتی ہے اور استعمال کی جاتی ہے لیکن یہاں بھی نئی جنریشن انگریزی کی طرف چلی گئی ہے اس کا ہمیں دکھ ہے ڈائریکٹر ساؤتھ کیمپر پروفیسر بشیر احمد نہوی آلسو اسپوک آن دی اوکیجن بشمار افسانہ نگاروں نے ایسے قصے ترتیب دیے ہیں ایسی کہانیاں لکھے ہیں ایسے افسانے لکھے ہیں جن کی بدولت اپنے سماج کی انفرادی اور اجتماعی زندگی کی بڑی خدمت انجام دی گئی ہے لیکن یہ بھی ایک حقیقت ہے کہ بہت سارے افسانہ نگاروں نے ایسے قصے ترتیب دیے ایسے قصے تحریر کیے جو سماج میں بے راہ روی اور بدزنی اور بد مزاجی اور بد مزاقی کے ضامن بن گئی For years, Kashmir has been known for its beautiful and delicate handicrafts. But over the year, this industry has been declining. The coming up of machines and technology has dealt a blow to this beautiful craft of the valley. Now to arrest its decline, the University of Kashmir launched a program in craft development. It is affiliated with the University of Kashmir. Kashmir University is making admissions. Kashmir University is giving the degrees. Kashmir University is providing help to them in designing syllabus, conducting exams, making evaluation of the papers and uh, masters in craft and uh, entrepreneurship degree is being awarded by the Kashmir University and uh, so far as the teachers are concerned they are being appointed by a committee which is headed by the principal uh, secretary uh, commerce and industries and commerce Uh, and other distinguished members are there. The first activity we started was that we started with design development. We did research. Then we also did skill upgradation and training of artisans where we tried to upgrade their skill levels. So this is broadly what we started with. Then later on it was a realization that in handicraft sector there is a dearth of regional, uh, regional handicraft sector, there is a dearth of professional human resource. Like in other sectors we have got professionals, uh, be it agriculture, horticulture, any field you will take. So you will find that there are professionals who have got understanding of this sector. But unfortunately throughout the country you don't have professional human resource as far as this handicraft sector is concerned. The institute is affiliated with Kashmir University and was created to develop craft industry in the valley. The institute was set up to create new avenues of innovation and entrepreneurship in handicrafts. Definitely we do help them in taking up these innovative methods but we also take care that the value and the essence of handcraft is not lost in it. We don't lose to the machine. the essence and the value of the craft for which we are really famous like for example we teach them how to use technology in craft without compromising on the hand quality of the craft the purpose of establishing this craft institute is to develop the crafts industry of kashmir there was a time when shawl industry alone used to feed the maximum population of city. 
the Craft Development Institute, which is situated in Srinagar's Bagi Mardan locality of Old Ste, started functioning in 2004 and is a fusion between the traditional and rich crafts and brings together various stakeholders for the preservation of indigenous craft. It is purpose is to see that uh, innovations and uh, new developments and improvements are made in this industry to respond to the needs and demands uh, world over and also to develop entrepreneurs in this sector. Overall uh, development started in 2009 and in 2012 we got affiliated with the University of Kashmir and the program is now named at Masters in Craft Management and Entrepreneurship. So it's like MBA but it is contextualized into handicrafts. Masters in craft management and entrepreneurship. Focus is on creating handicraft entrepreneurs. In addition to management, we teach design and we teach technology. For students who are looking to excel in an alternate career and become job providers, the Craft Development Institute is one such center where you can excel in creativity provided you have talent and perseverance necessary for honing that. We want to create entrepreneurs rather than job seekers, but it's not like that that we don't uh, our students don't have a job for themselves uh, we want them to have uh, uh, these entrepreneur ventures uh, and in that uh, we have networking with various organizations who provide them loans and even grants uh, plus the job profiles are that they get jobs in various craft organizations. The CDI has a holistic approach to handicrafts development by maximizing the potential of skill-based activities. After completing this course, we have a lot of knowledge about craft, what craft is here, what issues are craft related. और हम कैसे उन इश्यूज को टैकल कर सकते हैं कैसे उन इश्यूज को हम सॉल्व कर सकते हैं कहां पर जरूरत है हमें चेंज लाने की कहां पर इनोवेशन की जरूरत है सो हियर एट सीडीआई व्हाट इज गिवन इज नॉलेज ऑलराइट at least we have to contribute to society and if we will not contribute who is going to contribute it helps artisans to adapt to new techniques without forsaking the traditional ways of handicrafts According to the CDI faculty, their endeavor is to renew the promise of handmade crafts, give it a new direction and inspire changes in design and technique. Artisans are a bit different from this particular course because they are uh, devised on basis on their skill levels. Like they already have skill levels, so we give them different courses in which their skill levels are enhanced plus upgraded and also we give them like an uh, uh, inhale this uh, a view about the market what exactly are the international markets plus all our students are working very closely with artisans say so they talk to them sit with them work with them so all the expertise which are being given to the students are also transferred to the artisans the institute has a well established studio which facilitates visualization material exploration and development of new concepts for the students who are keen to develop their entrepreneurial skills the institute offers professional educational programs in the handicraft sector for an entrepreneur, you need capital. I believe in it. Yes, we need capital. But what we need is idea. And what do they do? What does our faculty do at uh, CDI? It nourishes that idea. And that nourishment of that idea, innovation in uh, designs, innovation in product management, that's what we are taught here. The institute also imparts training and organizes workshops for mentoring new generation of artisans. To know more about this institute, log on to their website cdisgr.org. The Directorate of Lifelong Learning organized Meet the Eminent program at Sadakadal. The program was organized for the encouragement of artisans of the DLL whom the directorate trains in skill empowerment. National Council for Promotion of the Urdu Language had sponsored this program. 
Dean Academic Affairs Professor Mohammad Ashraf Wani along with the Director Center of Central Asian Studies Professor G N Khaki and Director DLL Dr G H Meer visited various skill centers of DLL where skill training is imparted to the artisans Director DLL Dr Meer appraised the university officials about the nature of work being done in these centers प्रमोट करने खातर ये रिवाइवल ऑफ इट इज ग्लोरी ब्रोकन आने खातर जी कोर ऐसा एमओयू ऐसे जो ऐसे जो इमान एरिया में पर्टिकुलरली इमान एरिया में ये कि इमान किया था नो हाउ एम यू फ्रू ये मैं सेमी सिक्योर दिखे एंड यह मज़ा नहीं मैं सेमी सिक्योर दिखे और कि यह मज़ा ही तीन नफरती अन सिक्योर Dean Academic Affairs Professor Vani assured artisans that he will render whatever help is possible. इस कारण आप दो हम करें यह मुझे नोम बचीती हैं ये मायने पान प्रोडक्ट सर्च इस सिटी करें वे लेजान ये मंसित करें वे कंटैक्ट ये मंसित ये मंसित मुख्य एजेंसीज है फाइनेंशियल एजेंसीज भी ये मंसित क्रैप डेवलपमेंट से चीज क्रैप मार्केटिंग से चीज फाइनेंशियल से वगैरह तीम के अनुभव अफसर तो तीमन तीमन इस तीमन हम इस कच्चे पर तीमन कर इस काह की तीम काह हदस्तान ये थन कारण ऐसी मदद यूसी नॉन प्रोडक्ट बनावन ये बात नावन मार्केट स्थान तो ये जन ये मंत्र क्या कैपिटल जरूरत चुकी है पोस्ट जरूरत चुका सुकुत पॉइंट ही लेटर द आर्टिसन्स डिस्प्लेड देर प्रोडक्ट्स बिफोर द इमिनेंट पर्सन्स With this, we come to the end of today's program. In case you have missed some part of the program, log on to emmrckashmir.com where you can watch the whole episode. Send us your suggestions at our email address, quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. Why do nations celebrate their hoariness, not their astonishing youth? That was all for today. See you in next episode. Till then take good care of yourself. Khudafis.